Um, before I, I start talking, I just would like to thank the faculty for allowing me to speak, even though I'm not technically faculty or at faculty at all, but thank you. I really appreciate you allowing me to say a few things. Um, what I wanted to talk about um, is probably very, very far from your minds, um, but it's talking about being a musician um, with kids. Um, for those who don't know, both my husband and Kyle and I uh, graduated from the music department as percussion majors. And aside from our full-time jobs, we are active musicians. I don't just do office work, then go home. I do play, too. Um, and the plus side of that, that both of us being musicians, is we can go to gigs together, because how often can you, you know, call somebody and say, I need a percussionist, and you get two. I mean, that's, <laughs> a lot of people like that. But um, so the plus side of that is that we get to spend time with each other, um, with commuting and playing together, which playing music together with your spouse is wonderful. Um, but the downside of that is that you can say yes to so many things because, oh, my husband will be right there, but then you realize how much little time you're spending together as a couple. And so you really have to watch how much you say yes to playing um, if you can have that opportunity where you can say no. Um, and then when we started talking about kids, it was during a time where both of us were getting home at 11 o'clock every night. And we just realized we don't even have time for ourselves, let alone if we had a kid. So we had to get our schedules under control first, and then we started talking about that. Um, and then once I became pregnant, I thought, oh, well, I can just keep playing through the third trimester and I'll be fine. But then <laughs> I didn't realize that pregnancy doesn't really mix with playing the drum set or, <laughs> <laughs> or lugging percussion equipment. That just oh. doesn't work. Um, so I ended up, around five months, having to cancel all of my music commitments until after uh, my son Max was born. Um, and then once, now that he's here, I mean, that's, that's it. You just want to spend all your time with him. I mean, I, I race home to spend time with him. He is so amazing. It's just so indescribable um, having a kid. It's, I, I'm not even going to try. Um, but what does that mean for your music? Um, does that mean that you give it up? Well, no, you don't have to. Um, it just means that you have to make it work if you're really committed to playing. Um, for me, the biggest part is time management. Um, am I spending enough time practicing? Well, now, no. Um, am I spending enough time, if I take this gig, am I going to spend enough time with my child that week? Am I going to spend enough time with my husband or myself? Or even am I going to have time to spend time in my faith? I just really need to think about that before I say yes. Um, and sometimes that means cutting out things that you really love and you just can't imagine giving up right now, but you just, you kind of have to. You kind of have to make that choice. Um, one of the best pieces of advice that I was given um, as a new parent is that you have to make sure that you have time to recharge yourself in order to be a good parent. And what I want to tell you now is you can apply that now with you need to take time to recharge yourself in order to be a good musician. Um, it's easy to say yes to a ton of things right now because you're a student and you want to play as much as you can, but are, do you have the energy to do that? And are you making time enough for yourself, for your practicing, for your faith, all those other things? Um, and if you're saying, thinking right now, I, I don't have any time for any of that stuff, just sit down. And um, Ron actually did this with me when I was a freshman. Um, it's just sit down and write down how, what your day is from this time to this time had breakfast from this time to this time I played video games and you'll find do I need to be practicing more or do I need to be resting so um, yeah being a musician with a child it can happen but you just really need to think through what you want for your life what you want for your music and um, really talk about it over with your spouse because really communication is just so 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 important and like John was saying, are you going to be out a couple nights a week? Or are you going to be out one night a week? You've got to agree with that together. And it can happen. That's it.